Hello there Madlids! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Okay, so bago tayo mag-start, again, flex ko lang ulit yung aking mga social media accounts. On Instagram, you can follow me at Errol04. On TikTok, you can follow me at Mads and Logics. And if you are queries, questions, suggestions, and corrections regarding the video, you can follow me on my official Facebook account, Larry Manalang Del Rosario. And of course, do not forget to subscribe on my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated on my latest upload. Okay, so, nasa lesson 3 na tayo ng ating grade 8 math lesson okay, for the first quarter. Lesson 3 na tayo. Okay, so, bago tayo mag-start, let us first identify our objective for today. Okay, so, at the end of the video, the student will be able to factor polynomial in a form of difference of two squares. Okay. So, yung lesson 3 natin is all about factoring. To be more specific, it's all about difference of two squares. Okay. So, we all know that we are in a crisis because of the pandemic. In preparation for the opening of classes, the Department of Education is planning to do a blended learning. And part of that blended learning is the online learning. Kaya nga natin ginagawa itong mga videos na to so that... Uh, magiging accessible yung learning sa mga bata, especially those uh, parents na igagayad yung mga bata in their modular learning. Okay, so, bago tayo mag-start, let us have a short recap on your lesson okay, when you were in grade 7. So, list all the perfect square numbers. You should be able to list the first 15 square numbers in 30 seconds. Ayan. Okay, let's say, for example, 1 squared is equal to 1, 2 squared, so, and so on. Hanggang 15 square. So, I'll give you 30 seconds to finish finding the square of the numbers from 1 to 15. Your timer starts now. Okay, time is up. So here is our answers. So we have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, and 225. Okay. Since you already list down all the all the squares of the numbers 1 to 15, let us have another recap. Kung mapapansin nyo to, ito yung lesson ninyo when you were in grade 7. Ang tawag dito ay sum and difference of two terms. May dalawang terms na exactly magkamuka. Kukunin nyo yung ipagmultiply nyo yung silang dalawa. So, ang tawag sa kanila ay sum and difference of two terms. Okay. Para mamultiply natin to, we are using follow method na ginawa natin dun sa ating perfect square trinomial dun sa previous lesson natin. So, una, we are going to multiply the first terms first. Okay. So, we have the first term, x times x, which is equal to x squared. Foil, outer terms, x times negative 3 is negative 3x. The inner terms, which is 3 times x, are x times 3, which is positive 3x. And the last terms, which is positive 3 times negative 3, which is negative 9. And then, yung sagot natin, pagsasama-samahin lang natin yung sa FOIL method. So, we have x squared, negative 3x, plus 3x, minus 9. Okay? We can still simplify it further by um, canceling negative 3x plus 3x. Okay. So, dito, x, ang matitira na lang ay I can cancel natin yung negative 3x plus 3x because negative 3x plus 3x is 0. So, matitira na lang ay x squared minus 9. Factoring a difference of two squares. Okay. It is always in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is equal to a plus b, a minus b. 
To factor a difference of two squares, write the product of the sum and the difference of the two qualities being squared. Kung mapansin nyo, kanina, given to, nilagay natin dito. So in this case, given to, ibabalik natin dito. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, ito yung reverse or kabaliktara ng ating sum and difference of two terms. Okay. Ngayon, given naman ay difference of two squares, ilalagay natin siya sa sum and difference of two terms. Okay. So, ang gagawin lang daw para ma-factor natin yung um, difference of two squares, makinig mabuti, isusulat lang natin yung product of the sum and the difference of the two qualities being squared. Ibig sabihin, kunin natin yung square root ng dalawa. Square root of a squared is a. Square root of b squared is b. Square root of a squared is a. Square root of b squared is b. And then, plus, minus, or minus plus. Tahit ng kabalitan. Okay. Meron tayong mga conditions. So, eto nga, ayun. Una, para malaman natin kung difference of two squares ba siya, we need to identify first if it is a binomial and each term is a square. So, dapat binomial. Ibig sabihin, dapat dalawang term. At dapat, yung dalawang term na yon ay perfect square. Kasi kung hindi, hindi siya pwedeng gamitan ng difference of two squares. It could be prime, maybe. Okay. Dapat yung constant niya, perfect square numbers. And yung variable niya, raised to an even exponent. Again, dapat yung constant para malaman natin kung perfect square sila. Dapat yung constant niya ay perfect square numbers or yung coefficient. Yung variable naman niya is raised to an even exponent. And B, there is a minus sign between the two terms. Kapag ka plus sign yung nakita nyo, that means it is not a difference of two squares. From the word itself, difference, which means minus. So, dapat meron kayong makita minus sign. Let's try this one. X squared minus 9. Let us identify if it satisfies the condition. Una. Okay. Na-check ko na siya. So, una. Is it a binomial? Yes. It is binomial. One, two, two terms. Aside from that, is the first term perfect square? Yes. X squared. Automatic may one yan. And one is also perfect square. Is the last term perfect square? Yes. Next condition, is there a minus sign? Yes, there is a minus sign. So that means it is a perfect square. Sorry, it is a difference of two squares. So anong gagawin natin? We get the square root of x squared, which is x. The square root of 9, which is 3. And then plus, minus. As easy as that. Next question. 121 x raised to 8 minus 16 over 25. Let us first identify kung binomial siya. Yes, it is binomial. Why? Simply because it has two terms. The first term is 121x raised to 8. The second term is 16 over 25. Okay, next, are they both perfect square? Okay. Yung coefficient ba nito ay perfect square? Yung 121 ba ay perfect square? Yes. Because the square root of 121 is 11. Yung bang ating variable ay merong even exponent? Yes. 8 is divisible by 2. That means 8 is even. Okay, next. Yung second term natin, is it perfect square? Yes. Because the square root of 16 over 25 is 4 over 5. Okay, that means, nasatisfy natin yung unang condition. Pangalawa, simply lang, is there a minus sign? Yes, there is a minus sign. That means, to satisfy natin, we can now answer it using the difference of two squares. We cannot factor this out. We get the square root of this one, which is, what, the square root of 121 is 11. The square root of x raised to 8 is x raised to 4. The square root of uh, 16 over 25 is 4 feet. And then plus, minus. Next problem, b squared minus 8. Okay, una, let us first identify. Is it a binomial? Yes, is it, a, it is a binomial. Sorry, it is a binomial. Yes, it is a binomial. Is the first term perfect square? Yes, because the square root of b squared is b. Is the second term perfect square? No, because 8 is not a perfect square. It is a perfect cube. 
That means it does not satisfy the first condition, though it has a minus sign. Ibig sabihin lang nun, 8 is not a perfect square. Ibig sabihin, it is non-factorable. So, ang sagot natin dito ay prime. Kapag non-factorable, meaning to say the polynomial is a prime polynomial. Okay, another example, 18x squared minus 32. Let's identify if it satisfies the condition. Okay, una, is it a binomial? Yes. Aside from that, um, is the first and the last term perfect square? No. Pero, if you are going to... Uh, there is also a minus sign, yes. But, as you notice, but we can factor it out using the common monomial factoring. Si MF, yung unang-unang lesson natin sa math 8. Ano yun? What is something in common between the two? They have GCF, okay? Their GCF is what? Their GCF is 2. Okay. So, pwede natin ilabas si 2 and then we are going to divide each by 2. 18x squared divided by 2 is 9x squared. Negative 32 divided by 2 is negative 16. Okay. And then, tignan yung mabuti ito. Yung 9x squared natin minus 16 forms a different of 2 squares. Why? Una, Binomial siya. Okay, 1, 2. Pangalawa, perfect square si first term, perfect square si last term. Okay, that means we can factor it out using the difference of two squares. So we have 2, get the square root of 9x squared, so we have 3x. Get the square root of 16, which is 4, plus, minus. Understood? Yeah, so that will be our answer there. Okay, next, m raised to 4 minus 81. Okay, first, it satisfies our first condition. Why? Because m raised to 4 is even, uh, is a variable raised to an even number. Next, yung 81 natin ay also perfect square. And aside from that, meron siyang minus sign. So we can now get the square root of m raised to 4, which is m raised to 2. Square root of 81 is 9 plus minus. As easy as that. Kaya lang, kung mapapansin ninyo, si m squared minus 9 also forms a difference of 2 squares. Why? Binomial siya, perfect square si first term and last term, may minus sign. So, we can still simplify it further by m squared plus 9, nilagay ko lang yun. And then, square root of m squared is m, square root of 9 is 3, plus minus. So, m plus 3, m minus 3. Sir, bakit ito po hindi natin uh, finactor? Kasi, it does not satisfy the condition of difference of two squares. Why? Because, hindi naman siya difference in the first place. Plus sign yung nakalagay. Ayan. So, that will be our answer. M squared, the quantity of M squared plus 9 times the quantity of M plus 3 times the quantity of M minus 3. Okay? So, you try this one. So, I'll give you maybe... 30 minutes to answer this, better kung mas mabilis. Feel free to pause the video for a while so that you'll have enough time to answer. And afterwards, I'm going to show the answers. And you have to check your answer whether you got a perfect score or mataas na score. Okay, so here is our answer. Okay, I hope you, ha you had a high score in answering the problem. And I hope you learned something on this video. This is our lesson 3 in Mathematics 8 and there are more videos to come.